Welcome, Mad Bad's friends of the interweb. Scotty D taking over Mad Bad Studio here. Uh, in town for Thanksgiving and uh, sporting the new Scotty D t-shirts. Go to your uh, lake, local t-shirt store. I'm sure they'll be carrying <laughs> Yeah, it looks badass. Uh, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but no, uh, I got a chance to take over Rich's studio for a minute. And uh, the first thing I wanted to do was uh, give a big thank you to all of uh, Mad Bad's uh, subs. You know, he... Uh, to helping me try to get over a thousand subs, it's been a little bit of a struggle. And trying to help me get over a thousand subs, he did that shout out. Asked you all if you would uh, check out my channel if you liked it, you subbed, and uh, so we got over a thousand. And a big thank you, big thank you. Um, but the other thing is, is that I get some grief because if you, if anybody's ever seen my channel or checked it out, if you haven't, that's Sky D T V. Right. Link below. Link below. Yeah. There you go. And. Uh, they always tell me, well, you're always on, you know, you walk up to these people or, you know, you walk up to me and stick a camera in my face and you're never on the other side of the camera. So, um, I thought it would be cool. You know, how does it feel to be on the other side of the camera? How does it get, uh, how does it feel to be interviewed? And so, uh, Mr. Matt Bad Voodoo himself is here. How are you, brother? I'm doing good. All right, you ready for this? I am ready for this. He's going to ask me a few questions. <laughs> I'm thinking of some good ones. Now, how long have you known me? I have known you uh, all my life. Yeah. Uh, do you remember I, not knowing me? Because no. I do not remember not knowing you. No, and I tell people that because you tell them I, I've known you since I've been four or five, whatever it is. But truly, I, I don't remember not knowing um, Mad Bad. Yeah, um, no, that's we, right. We, uh, we grew up together. Um, creek. There was a creek that separated us, and uh, that was it. And uh, yeah. that, and our parents always telling us, you know, when we got to be teenagers, that we couldn't hang out. Together. Yeah. And now it was your parents. Yeah, yeah. My parents had given up on me by then. <laughs> you still had some hope. <laughs> and so what, what were we doing? And I, I think this is going to be an inter interesting question. Do you remember what we were doing in high school in 1984? Oh, dude, we were doing a lot of stuff in 84. Well, what, what would you say we were doing that has a connection to what we're doing right now? Movies. Movies. We were making movies in 84. Yeah, yeah. we took a class on movie Yeah, making. we were looking to, uh, you know, Rich and I, we, believe it or not, Neither one of us were really uh, into the hard education. <laughs> you know, I know that's hard to believe. You look at the two of us and say, two successful gentlemen, as bright as you are, and you all didn't hit the books hard, but yeah. you know, we didn't hit the books. We hit some things hard, I'll be honest with you. Books <laughs> it wasn't books. <laughs> it wasn't the books. But uh, anyways, yeah, no, we were looking to kill time, and we were looking. We were separated by a year or two in school, um, not that far in age, but in school we were. And uh, we were looking to kill time in easy class, and we took a filmmaking class. Because, okay, let me start by telling this story. Um, I don't know, we're probably, uh, I'll tell you, tape recorders were just coming out. So, yeah, I don't know, yeah. we were probably 10. You know, oh no, I know where this uh, is going. <laughs> Big John's gonna be in this, isn't he? Uh, no, I can't. I don't oh, you're not gonna tell that story? Him. No, I yeah. can't tell. I have statue limitations probably ran out on it by now. Yeah, but my dad's still alive. Oh, that's true. That's <laughs> something. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that's how I hold All right, we'll hold off on that story yeah, for hopefully we'll another 50 years now. or so. But I uh, know, anyways, I'm sitting around and I call Rich. What are you up to? And he says, uh, I got a tape recorder, man. You got to come over. I got an idea. I was like, all right. Oh, you know, yeah. No. He says, I'll die. You know, I'm good down with it. Let's check it out. So I get over there and uh, he's got the uh, he, he's got this tape recorder <laughs> and we had a record. Yeah, that's all. Dude, it was The Who, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was my generation. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The Who. And Rich's idea was is that we were going to uh, sing the song and I was doing the talking. Yeah. About my generation. People try to put us down. Talking about my generation. <laughs> you know what? I don't just remember that. We, I you know, just because around. I get around or we get around, I think it is. Well, anyways, we did, yeah. we did much better back then. We were out. Yeah, we were out, man. Yeah. yeah. But so we've always been interested in this kind of a thing. But mm -hmm. really, um, we come from blue collar families. Yeah. Um, I tell people that if I was Ted Turner's son, they, they'd be going chip off the old block. Look yeah. at them, you know. But Dude, I, I, you may be from a blue collar family. I was from a no collar family. Well, my dad couldn't afford a shirt. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Um, hey, the bottom line is nobody would have ever thought the entertainment business or making videos or making movies. But we oh, took yeah. that class, and it was. Uh, and that was an elective. I mean, we actually chose together to take yeah, filmmaking. Yeah, is yeah, what it was. Yeah, and, and there was a real interest yeah. in it. There was no like, video back then. No, no, it was filmmaking. It was super we, eight. Yeah, we had to clip it together. Yeah, right? no, that was the real. Yeah, the real deal. And we made a music video to um, Van Halen's Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. That's and right. And my Trans Am in it. And we had one of the hottest chicks in the whole school. That's uh, right. Big shout out to Cindy. There you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She she was the first video star in our lives. Yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, and 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 put it together. And uh, honest to goodness, it was one of the classes that uh, we enjoyed the most when we got a really good grade in it. And uh, but now, 
Man, if we had available to us now, what we you know then? Well, can you it, can you even picture twenty what over twenty five years later, we're making what amounts to movies right. videos, and it's going out to the world. That's amazing. If you would have told us that back in nineteen eighty four, I, I would you have believed it? I don't think I'd have believed it. No, I'd have been and, like, yeah. And I'll tell you another thing. I was just uh, with some family having some uh, dinner for the holidays here, and I got three. Uh, well, almost teenage, but uh, two of them are teenage. One's almost teenage uh, girls that are, that are um, my cousin's daughters. Very close to them, and I love them. And I told them, girls, listen to me. If you all have any interest at all, get a camera, start making movies, get an AdSense account. And, I mean, the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? You know, the problem with these young girls today with cameras and, and, and YouTube... <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, I know that. I hear, I see a booty shaking video coming. Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> sure. Um, you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we do not condone <laughs> booty shaking videos. But you know, I just think, you know, to me, I think there's a, there's an opportunity. There's now, don't get me wrong. There's some hitches to it. Um, yeah, there's some pitfalls. You have to yeah. be careful. Yeah. Um, there's it's not all all sunny. No, there's stuff. some serious trolling idiots out there. That, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, and, no. yeah. Yeah, wouldn't it be a beautiful if you didn't have to deal with some of that? Oh my. My God. But, my God. Uh, anyways, I, I, again, I think it's a great opportunity, and uh, you well, know, that's awesome. everybody's, yeah, everybody's on equal. I mean, I know we've both met some really interesting, cool ass people. Awesome, Man, awesome I'll tell people. You what I've been put in touch with some, uh, some really, really nice people. Um, been willing to, to help me out, and uh, yeah. you know, you know, I'm learning every day. Yeah, so. I have too. Some of the coolest people I've ever met, well, I met on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. And, and, oh, but so, and on the same note. Right. Some of the biggest douchebags I've ever met, I met on YouTube. And, and some, of the, I just don't understand what some of the people think are entertaining. Yeah. You know, there's a guy out there that does videos of bowel movements. Does he really? That's his channel. Dude, it takes, it takes it's like a jackass thing. It's like, you, listen, to a 14-year-old boy that's got a price, it's probably hilarious. Man, I was 14 once, and that was never fun. You were lighting your farts on fire, I tell you right now. <laughs> Uh, we set the creek on fire. Well, you, you know, <laughs> well, that's one of the stories we probably shouldn't talk about. Stan, you might have run on it. I think it yeah. probably has. Yeah. But yeah, no, we made some stuff that NASA would have been proud of. No, we yeah, we could have got, got them to Mars. Yeah, we huh? proved it. <laughs> so, no. dude, what's the craziest story you can remember from me in high school? I'll let you tell one on me. Go I tell ahead. you, I, I well. Uh, yeah, I mean, there again, some of those things. Most of the good ones you can't talk that's about. That's a fact. In video, but um, it's got to be the it's got to be the speech. Yeah. The notorious speech. When I was running for I president, know, Kennedy was a uh, Martin yeah. Luther King. Were both famous <laughs> speeches. Mad bad Rudy Dude, is that's famous, right. That's a, famous yeah. for a speech. When I was running um, for president of, was, of student council. Freshman year. No, it was my sophomore year, wasn't it? Sophomore. Was it your sophomore year? Uh, you know what? I don't know. I don't remember. You hadn't been there long. No, no it's probably, it might have been my freshman year. I don't think a lot. So of maybe I was running for vice president because my freshman yeah, year I was vice president no, of my I class. Running, yeah. Sophomore year I was president of my class. So yeah. okay. Yeah. You're right. No, it was. It was because yeah. so sophomore year is when I got censored. Yeah. So you got to imagine mm -hmm. now, folks. We've uh, we go to we went to a high school in the '80s that had a, a student body of over 3,000 kids. Yeah, it's huge. It was like a small college. Yeah. 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 I graduated in '84, and my graduating class was over 1,300. So it was yeah. like a small college. And you could uh, you could have some real fun in, in that place. Yeah. You know, no. Yeah. No absolutely. Kidding. But anyway, so this so and I'm a year ahead or two years ahead of uh, of, of Voodoo, and uh, they don't they don't know who this kid is, but I know who he is. And uh, didn't take him long to figure out who I was. No, <laughs> no, no, it sure did. He's got the whole school's attention, and believe it or not. We had bathrooms that didn't have stalls or doors. Doors on the stalls, on the stalls right? Yeah. Right. So when you when you had to when you had to go, you know, you had to do it in front of God and everybody. That's right. So anyways, it took Voodoo about ten minutes to figure out that's a platform I can stand behind. I knew get, people could get behind you on that. Behind that. that. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, that was his speech. He talked about pinching loaves and. <laughs> you know. No, no, no. Remember, I said I wanted to put doors. I wanted the administration to put doors on the stalls. And they bucked me. To this day, I don't think there's doors on those stalls. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. yeah. But that'd be basic. I, I thought it was a good flavor. Everybody, hey, dude, I crushed the competition. Dude. Yeah. Who what was the kind? Who was the kind? I think it was Ron Vi. No, no, it wasn't Ron Vi. I remember who was running against me for vice president. Ron Vi ran against me for president the next year. Right. I crushed him. Crushed him too. I crushed everybody. Crushed everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking out for the student body. Yeah, so yeah. anyways, you know, I would have to say that, yeah, um, how cool was that? Because everybody was like, did you hear that freshman this morning on his speech? And I was like, hey, dude, you ain't seen nothing yet, trust me. <laughs> and, and so for the next two years until I graduated and, and uh, we were able to go to school, we had a locker together yeah. in high school. and man, We raised dude, some serious hell. Parties. Dude, we'll have to come back for a part two. I'm going to call here. We'll be back with Scotty D. In the meantime, check out the link in the info section and sub to him. See ya!